this is Yes, thank you. This is very new for me as uh, I am uh, going live on the three platforms at once. And um, besides, I haven't done this uh, on TikTok before and I haven't done this on Instagram before. I've done it a couple of weeks um, in a row so far in uh, on Zoom and on Facebook. And um, the guidance is to um, go ahead and spread further the messages and the messages are coming from my higher self, from my uh, spiritual guides. Um, recently, I've had um, I've had um, this channeling that uh, has told me that I am meant and I'm supposed to go ahead and have these transmissions. So I'm going to. Um, Assume for now that they're going to happen for a while on Thursday mornings as much as possible. And I'm going to get live on uh, Instagram, on Facebook, um, Zoom as well. And of course, on TikTok. So thank you. For those of you who are new to my platforms, I really appreciate being here. Like I said, this is something new for me. And uh, it's not meant to create new followers for me. It's uh, not meant to um, um, just attract people as it is meant to transmit a message and uh, really resonate with the ones that are ready to receive it. The message is not mine. The message, uh, it's flowing through me. I am uh, an empty vessel, like they like to call us channelers and so i am not going to take any credit for any of this um um it's just an honor and a beautiful guidance that i'm receiving to share this with you i understand that you want to go live with me on tiktok i've uh, declined a few um a few uh, requests and i'm sorry that i'm not um uh, ready for that I'm just ready to send a message this is not going to be a debate it's not going to be a dialogue as I'm inviting you if you are uh, watching this or you may watch the recording on uh, YouTube at some point I'm going to upload it there and as you are watching this I'm inviting you to go ahead and join me or just join the transmission whenever you're listening to it, join transmission um, in a meditative state if you want. Um, so what I'm inviting everybody is to go ahead and open their hearts, open themselves, open their minds to receive the message that is going to be transmitted. It is a message of light. It is a message of love and it is channeled. So it's not my particular message, uh, but it is channeled from my higher self. And I'm very um, happy to be able to do this and to transmit this further. So with that being said, I'm not taking any um, comments. I am uh, open at the end for questions. That may not be the case all the time, every single session, but I'm planning on doing the sessions at least for now weekly at 9 a.m. or around 9 a.m. Uh, Florida time. And I may do some of them in Romanian as well in evenings. It depends on what my guidance is uh, coming. So, okay, let's get started. This transmission, it is meant to um, open up for those who are resonating, open up your channels for connecting with your own angels, with your own guides, with your own higher self um, in this world that it's full of contradictions and it's full of people who are um, confused and um, it's a world in which we don't know which direction to go and many people don't know which um, guidance to follow. We are now called to uh, actually connect with our own higher self, to connect with our own guidance and listen less uh, from what others have to say and follow more our own inner guidance. But the key is here to go ahead and understand that the heart, it's the portal through which these connections are having place. And the heart needs to be healed 
and fully open, yes, not protected based on past traumas and fears. So we are invited to open the heart and the transmission today will facilitate that for you. Um, I usually don't know exactly what's going to come out of my mouth, my mouth. So I'm going to say this as a disclosure. I don't know exactly what's going to come out of my mouth because it's not my transmission. It's channeling my higher self and it's channeling my guides. And in this case, this morning, they are the Pleiadian High Council of Era. I know for those of you uh, may sound a little crazy very woo woo um i totally understand that and if it's not for you it's not for you um however if you feel that this transmission somehow it's drawing you close um just you know tune in and let it happen and just receive it um people who are still in their uh, resistance mode who are still living in low vibrational emotions like fear and doubt and um um, lots of anger there is around the planet right now uh, and confusion and frustration. If you are living in those emotions, probably this transmission is going to create lots of doubts for you. Uh, it's going to feed, yes, um, what you already are feeling. However, um, if you feel that this is for you and you feel that you want to stick around and listen, then my suggestion is to just receive, right? You don't have to do anything other than open your heart. And that may take a little time, which I totally understand. And it's not opening the heart for me. For many of you, I'm just a stranger. It is opening the heart for your own higher self or your own guidance, um, because in this world right now, that is the best possible guidance we can receive. So with this being said, I'm going to see where I can move this beautiful thing. Let's see. I'll move it on this side. Okay, I think you're still hearing me on Zoom. Let me move things around a little bit. Okay, I'll move it on this side so it's not quite in my face on Instagram. Um, like I said, I'm not used to have this three screens in front of me, but I'm going to go ahead and start. <sighs> and so if you're watching this either recording or live right now, I encourage you to just get yourself into a meditative posture, meditative position. You can either lie down or sit. Um, however, the important part is for your spine to be straight so during this transmission, you're going to feel some energy flowing up and down your spine. It is meant to go and activate and balance, accelerate the energy in your seven chakras, which are connected to the physical body. And so I invite you now to take a deep breath in and exhale and take another deep breath in and exhale deeper into your body relaxing your scalp relaxing your eyelids relaxing your back of your neck relaxing your jaw relaxing your shoulders what they carry you carry lots of stress. Take another deep breath. And relax into your body. If you want, you can keep your palms facing down your thighs or you can lift your palms up. And now I invite the Palladian High Council of Era to join us along with my other guides. And I will see which one of them wants to offer the messages in the transmission today. Just give me a couple of more seconds so I can get into the theta state. 
where the channeling is happening. Because I feel some interference, uh, I am going to go ahead and purify the space before I would allow the transmission to start. And I'm going to do this by saying this purifying prayer that I've been taught by one of my dear friends a while back. And you can join me in this prayer and imagine as I say the words, let the images associated by your mind with these words come on the screen of your mind and see it and feel it. I'm going to repeat this prayer three times considering that there are live transmissions at the same time as the recording is happening. And here we go. May there be peace and light on earth. May there be peace and light in the skies. May there be peace in the deep. May there be peace for all beings. May there be harmony for all beings. May there be joy for all beings. May there be love for all beings. I'm going to say one more time. May there be peace and light on earth. May there be peace and light in the skies. May there be peace in the deep. May there be peace for all beings. May there be harmony for all beings. May there be joy for all beings. May there be love for all beings. And I'm going to repeat it one more time. May there be peace and light on earth. May there be peace and light in the skies. May there be peace in the deep. May there be peace for all beings. May there be harmony for all beings. May there be joy for all beings. May there be love for all beings. Good morning, beautiful souls. We are here this glorious morning to 
tell you about your connections and your possibilities. At this time, when you and your planet are going through big changes, we are supporting you and sharing love and light with you all as you are going through this magnificent transitions. All human beings are feeling the effects of the changes that are happening at the planet level. In fact, all beings, not only the humans, are feeling these changes. And it is indeed a time in which you all chose to be here, to experience this beautiful times and from our perspective time does not exist however we understand that from a human perspective time is an important factor and now you are all called to transcend it in a way that you haven't done before. If you have noticed that in the last years on your planet, the time has moved faster, as you may say, it is because the vibrations are changing and the magnetic field of the planet is changing as we speak. We understand the confusion. We understand that many humans are still living in fear and we are here to support the transition from those lower vibrational states which are dense and heavy into higher vibrational states, which are lighter and more natural to you. You have for many thousands of years believed that you are only humans and that's it. However, now many of you are awakening and are remembering their essence as being of non-physical and non-human origin. Not everybody on your planet is meant to remember this at this point. However, many of you are going through this changes and are becoming more aware of what and who you are. We are here to guide through this vessel. Those of you who are coming towards us through different channels, as now your technology allows this to happen and to be broadcast at a different level than before. We know many of you are using this technology and you are noticing when you pay a little more attention to the fast progress that has happened on your planet from a technological 
point of view in the last 20 to 50 years. We will say that this progress has been much faster than for millennia before. And this is no accident. As humanity is awakening and as you are going through these transitions, you are improving your technology, you are improving your awareness. And we will say that the most powerful technology you have at your hands, in your hands, at, at your disposal, it's actually your own self. You are not only physical bodies, you are souls as extensions of source energy. You are expressions of what you call the divine incarnated in this reality by choice. We know that many human beings believe that there is a higher power out there dictating to them what and when to do things and takes decisions for them. However, we are here to tell you that it is you. It is you. It is you. You are the ones who took the decision to come here now and you are the ones who even designed your experiences on earth with their main points. Now, things did not always work as you desired them, because as you cross the veil and you forget who you are and you forget why you came here as you incarnate on earth, you often get so deep into the 3D programming that you Never remember. However, as the veils are thinning out, more and more of you are remembering now and starting to see the light as you like to say. We want to clarify that everything is light And even in what you call the Bible, it was said that even what you call the fallen angels were still created by the same source, what you call God. There is only light, our dear ones. However, we know that in the 3D reality, because this reality was created to be a dual reality, many of you forgotten that everything is light and are so focused on the web of what you call darkness. And as this vessel is talking about for years through her coaching courses, 
you can transcend conditioning and you can start working on your mind to heal it and put it in its place. You are soul. You are extension of source energy. You are expression. Like a holographic image with the powers of source energy. There were many before you who came to show you the way, to show you as examples of what you really are and what you can truly do. One of these examples is what many of you know as Joshua or Jesus. Jesus never meant for you to follow him as you did. He came to show you how you can be. He came to show you who you are. Everything that he did, so can you. However, your conditioned mind it's still putting barriers between you and your true self. Your true self, it's not even the soul extension. Your true self, it's actually the source energy itself. We are all one. You are us and we are you and we are the higher self of this vessel however each and every one of you has their own guides and their own what we call the higher self based on how you call us what is the higher self you may ask the higher self is the group of guides, which you may call angels. And also what you will call previous, like past and future life experiences here on earth or in other dimensions. However, we would like to add that your higher self also comprises all your parallel selves as well, which you may have when you jump timelines in this particular life. What are these timelines jumping, you may ask? It is important at this time for you to understand that you have the power of creating your own reality. This is nothing new. You have always had this power. And we understand that it is difficult for some of you to believe that you are the creators of your on life right now as you feel it however you are you are the creators you have made choices that brought you here and living this experience and those choices sometimes are unfortunate however when you follow your soul's guidance which usually has a mission as simple as the mission may be just to enjoy and to fully live these experiences 
The missions can also be more complex. However, the important part is for you to know that if you follow the soul's guidance, that extension of your higher self, your source energy, everything aligns in your way. However, you have gotten to live very unfortunate events because your source's guidance was interrupted by the human mind, which was and is programmed in the lower frequencies. The human mind is a tool that was never meant to lead this experience for either one of you. However, things have been different for a very long time. And what we call awakening now, it's exactly this. It is applying to those of you who have started to remember that they are indeed non-physical spirits, extensions of source energy, connected to all there is. And so this transmission today, it's meant to bring you clarity about this subject. And we are here guiding this vessel to offer these messages more often than before. We have been with her every step of the way, just like your angels and your guides are with you. However, just recently she became aware of our presence, even though she felt us and she was guided by her intuition through which we speak many times before in her human reality. However, now she is aware and she opened the space, she healed her heart, and she is ready to speak on our behalf or move aside and allow us to speak through her by using her vocal cords and the languages she knows in her human mind. We are here to offer these messages at this time because all of you can change timelines. What does that mean as we were starting to explain is that you can change your reality. Many of you are expressions of prime creators. You have an immense, unlimited power of manifesting the reality that you desire. And now we are here to guide this vessel and you, if you are choosing to follow this guidance, to switch to your highest possible timeline in this life experience. We like to use the analogy of your video games. Imagine that you are creating 
what you call an avatar, a character in a video game. And you gave this character certain features, certain powers, certain desires for experience in this video game. And you are the one who, through a remote control, are guiding this avatar in the game. And so, throughout this experience, just like in a game, you can get to certain levels. And at each level, your avatar will upgrade itself, will have more tools, more power. This is exactly what transcending timelines feels like and is like for human beings as well. You are now called to transcend the 3D reality based on heavy and dense energies, based on the duality and separation, and are invited to join your true reality here on Earth as the earth itself has moved to a 5D reality. And humanity, it's invited to move with it in this new 5D level. We understand how this may not be for everybody. At this time, there are many of you that are choosing to stay in the 3D realm. And that is okay. And that is a lesson that this vessel had to learn. Wanting to wake up others, wanting to help them, as she says, it is not her mission. It is not anyone's mission because one of the strongest and most important and respected laws in this entire universe, not only your planet, is the law of free will. Free will, it's allowing each and every one of us to do and choose our own paths, our own experiences. So you have a choice to keep focusing on those things that you don't like, on the separation and distance between you and others as you have perceived it in the 3D realm so far for many, many generations, or you can choose to raise your vibration up to the 5D realm, switch levels by accepting and embracing and understanding that we are all one and you are connected with everything there is. You have access to the wisdom of your past parallel and future experiences 
each and every one of you has this accent and it's an open invitation now for you to make this choice or not. This vessel has received our guidance and it is her choice to allow this to happen through her body, through her physical body, to allow us as we are the higher self, we are for her what you may call future expressions of her self. However, as time from our perspective does not exist, everything is happening right now. So yes, we can say, and we are saying that right now, it is where she is here offering this transmission on earth. However, at the same time, the biggest part of her has multiple experiences in different realities of which she is not yet fully aware. However, this is not only for one or two of you. This is available and it's applying to each and every one of you. And so we are saying that now you are all invited to start remembering and start connecting with your higher selves because through this, you have the capacity to access the knowledge and the wisdom of all your experiences. You are not new souls. You are not here on earth even for the first time. Many of you are here for thousands and thousands and thousands of lives. You just don't yet remember it all. However, the more you heal your hearts, your human hearts, the more you open this portal towards remembering. And so by listening and participating to these transmissions, you are tuning in to the 5D vibration on which we are and from which we transmit. And this is one of the first steps you can do. Another thing that you can do for your own connections is to meditate and meditate and meditate. We are guiding this vessel and through her, we are sharing with you the importance of quieting the human mind. Quiet your human mind so you can make space for your intuition to put you in contact with your higher self. There are no limits. There are no limits for you in what you can live and manifest in this life reality. In reality, only the human mind is creating the illusion of limitations. And by quieting it, you get to tap into your full possibilities. 
And with this, we are thanking you for being here and for listening to this transmission today. We are going to speak more often through this vessel now that she is allowing us to do so. And we hope that we will meet all of you that are drawn towards this at the 5D level, as that's what your natural state is. Not that of separation and doubt, but that of love and unity with all there is. And so with this, we just want to say that you are so supported and so loved not loved, not only by us, but by many different beings that are expressed around the earth right now and also beyond what you call your galaxy. And so we are here to offer you the support, to offer you the love, to tell you that you are not alone and to tell you that we love you. We love you. We love you. Okay, I can't believe I did this live on um on social media. So um, I have a recollection of some things they said, but I hope that what they said and what they transmitted resonated with you. And I hope that you have um, um, benefits from this and that you are um, taking their message and um, applying their knowledge in your life, if you choose so, of course. Um, I'm going to continue to do these transmissions as often as possible. I've been doing them uh, for a little while now. Um, it's my third one live on Thursday mornings at 9 a.m. Florida time. And I know some of you who may be watching this, you may have um, questions. Um, trust me, I've doubted this um, for a very long time and I've resisted this um, transmissions, especially in the life I am. My mind is kicking in and it's uh, just having all these doubts and all these um, barriers. However, um, it is normal. I'm being told uh, by them and also by other channelers that I'm talking to um, about this process. It is normal. It is normal to have the mind questioning things because I've been programmed at a whole different level. And so if you have any questions, not for me directly, but even for me, if you feel that you are starting to channel, if you need any guidance in that, if you feel that you are... Um, call towards this direction of connecting with your higher self, but you have all these doubts, all this uh, resistance, which trust me, I had, I'm still having at a certain level. I am totally open to answer your questions. You can find me on social media. You know where I am now. Um, but also my guidance is to open the space for you to address the questions, uh, a question towards the High Council of Era, the Pleiadian High Council of Era, the ones that have transmitted the message today. Um, also, now I'm getting the message that my, um, what I call my angels are also open to answer questions for you. Um, the four angels that I have 
identified through my own meditation, through my own insights, uh, that are always with me. And I felt them with me since I was a child. Um, for the first time lately, recently, I, I got the courage to ask them their names. Um, and I know now that I can facilitate that for you too. If you want to get in touch with your angels and you want to create that relationship with them, of course, this is a relationship between you and them. However, there are some of us as channels that can put connect the points right we can put you i can put you together at that high vibration to where you um feel the energy of the connection and then even though throughout the day you're going to go up and down right it's we cannot stay in a vortex forever um but we we will remember we'll have the memory kind of like a muscle memory and i'm coming from a fitness background but it's kind of like a muscle memory. You can have the memory of that vibration and then your soul is going to recognize it and it's always going to just guide you towards that level. And so in time, by practicing every single day, you can get to where you connect directly with your higher self, but I can facilitate that. So my guides, my angels my and when I say my it's really it's just a verbiage verbiage it's not really they're not mine um they're just we are part of the same soul um family and that's not even accurate as it is bigger than that we are part of the same spirit source the same consciousness and so I know now that I am part of Christ consciousness and i am very called towards the feminine uh, sacred energy and so lately i have connected in a very beautiful very 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 amazing way with beings that i've never had a connection with mentally at least before like jesus and mary magdalene and mother mary and my own guides the four that i was mentioning are Azrael, Raphael, Michael, and Metatron. And trust me, that until maybe a few months ago, I didn't even know what Metatron is. I was, I thought it is connected with Transformers, right? So it's like, it is just mind blowing. Um, but the first steps I needed to do, and I'm teaching others this as well, was to quiet my own human mind. And so I'm inviting you to ask for help in this. Don't hesitate. You have access to all of it. You have access to all there is. It doesn't have to be through a certain um, vessel to a certain, like they call me vessel, through a certain channel. You have direct access to it. And all you need to do is to just quiet your own mind. And once you do that, you get to truly experience the amazing amount of love, which now I know it's the state, is the natural state of us. There is so much love in us, outside us. Um, in the 5D dimension, all I felt was joy and love. And, you know, I've been following Abraham Hicks for like, I don't know, 15, 17, I don't even remember, 20 years now. And I've always said without really knowing what I'm saying that they are my my spiritual guides. Um, but now I know that they are part of my consciousness and they are part of my existence and I am part of them. And not only them, but there are so many beings that I am able to connect with these days. And it's not because I'm special. I ask myself, like, who do you think you are? Um, are you narcissist? Are you just self-centered? Are you like, I've been through all these questions and I doubted everything. And I um, know now that it's not my mind, it's not my ego, it's not my personality that is telling me all these things. It is my soul it is part of who i really am but i also know that i'm not in any way special i'm not in any way the only one or um 
in a group of select few. All of us have this access. All of us are special, if you want. Um, and it's not only me. You can look around to all the channels, to everybody else saying the same thing. You have access to your source. You have access to the source energy from which we're all coming. You have access to all that infinite intelligence like Abraham Hicks kept saying it for years and years and years and I didn't know what that means until now and so you have access to all of it um and um it's so important to just set that intention if you're quite at the beginning of this like I was not very long time ago set the intention and you can say things like in quiet and peace and in in a in a reserved space for yourself yes you can close your eyes you can relax into your body and you can say things like my loving angels my sweet higher self please send me a sign please answer me this question and you can ask them a question you can ask them like i did what is their name um you can ask them how many they are you can ask them what is the next best step for you so this is it for today i thank you i thank you so much for being here i appreciate all of you and um i'm going to stop now because my grass um it's getting cut and it's a lot of noise um but also because i can't believe i've been here with you for one hour um so i thank you again i appreciate your focus on this um i don't need any of the attention i don't need any of the feedback at this point i just am guided to tell you to follow your own guidance and so it is thank you